We got the keys. I still can't believe this is our apartment. We did it. I am officially blaming TikTok for my pantry and kitchen organization obsession. Seriously, and want to never see another box again. We stock the new apartment. Here's the update. First night in the new apartment, and before we can even think of going to sleep after a long day, we've got to put this room together. Ryan did a great job at kind of styling where things are going to go. I'm going to roll out the carpet underneath, and then we're going to set up the mattress. Okay, we're gonna put the carpet underneath the bed and then we'll put the nightstands over here No, not all the right way. You just kind of do like a quarter. I don't know. That's kind of what I've seen on Pinterest I'm not an interior designer just going off of the internet here Yeah, I'll play around with it. It is super late at night, but we are determined to get our new couch all set up. So we're gonna do a little time lapse and then we really should go to bed. Going to take forever. It's not a sleeper couch, but the lounge part is nice. It's small. I could literally sleep on this part. Yeah. Oh, she will be. No <laughs> meal. I'm officially blaming TikTok for my pantry and kitchen organization obsession. I went online and ordered two Lazy Susans off of Amazon. I'll link these in the description box. I just think this will be great for the spices because I feel like I can never find my spices without knocking everything over. And then I'm just reusing some old cookie mix jars that I got from Trader Joe's and I just love that they had a gold lid. So I put some dark chocolate in this one, breadcrumbs, gotta fill this one up, and then some kernels. These two are are actually juice containers I got for my wedding registry. I think I can also link those on Amazon. Then these bins at the bottom here, I'm gonna just put a bunch of snacks in. This is literally going to be our only pantry space. So I just wanna make sure it's really nice and organized. I got these from Costco as well as a nine piece set of the OXO pop containers. These, they keep your food so fresh. Obviously they're way cheaper at Costco, so I had to pick some up. And then I gotta fill this up with some more, you know, organizing stuff. But organizing is very expensive, so a little, a little out of time, but I'm very happy with my progress. This is our current living room situation. I seriously want to never see another box again. They just keep piling up as we throw them out. So that's the name of the game when moving. We did end up getting a carpet. I know carpet on carpet may seem weird to people, but I've seen people on Pinterest do it and I love it 
because it just adds a lot of character to the room. It really brings in like the center of the space and adds some design. And I, you know, I like my neutrals and then I like to add pops of color throughout the seasons. And then here is the current mantle situation with the TV. Originally, I wanted to get a frame TV, those amazing TVs that look like a literal portrait and hang it right in the middle there because I just love the crown molding around the fireplace, but we're not allowed to hang anything. And there's like no fun contraption that allows you to not drill holes into this wall. We can draw holes into any other wall, but not this one. And this is where a TV would typically go. We played with the idea of putting it in the corner here or here, but it just would feel weird like looking left or right. So since this does have a little space right here, Ryan has seemed to find a stand that won't fall over. Most stands are over seven inches and this is seven inches and they'll topple oval, oval, over. We're gonna go pick up a TV up tonight and see how that looks. I'm gonna kind of miss though, seeing this beautiful square molding. It's it's really pretty and I wish I could get that TV up on there, but you win some, you lose some, you know, and I, I want a TV in my living room. I've been meaning to order this for a very long time. I just haven't gotten around to it and I finally did when I placed my last Amazon order. This is a glass jar that I'm going to put my Epsom salts in. I love taking long baths and so I wanted to have something that would hold my salts as well as my bath bombs. So I ordered this first in order to see the sizing of it because sometimes sizing can be off and I definitely want to order another one because then I can put all of my lush bath bombs in it and then have like a cute little jar put it next to the side of the bathtub so let's fill this up with some epsom salt wow fits perfectly ready for an update of the baby's room literally the holidays have thrown up all over the room this is the one room we have yet to touch and it's just giving me chaos vibes so i've just been shutting the door and saying i'll get to you later so i stopped by trader joe's and i picked up some fresh eucalyptus for the shower not a necessary item but one i really wanted and I also picked up some basil because we are going to start our herb garden on the balcony. So definitely stay tuned for that video because I'm going to do a whole entire small porch, cozy redecorating. I have a vision, people. I have a vision and I hope I can execute it. I just popped it into the shower. All I did was I cut the rubber band on and then I wrapped some twine around it and just hung it from the base of the shower head. And now it's going to smell like a spa. Update on the TV. So the stand that we ordered that they claimed to be seven inches to fit this mantle is not seven inches, it's 10. And we ordered another one to see maybe there was some glitch in the system. No, it's still 10 and not willing to fit on this mantle. So I don't know what to do because I need a TV in my living room. Some people on Reddit are like, this only solution is that this TV or this room might not be meant to have a TV. And I'm like, oh no. It is because during Halloween and Christmas, I will be watching my holiday movies right here, some way, somehow. So I need someone to come up with a solution that doesn't include mounting this onto the wall, or I just mount it on the wall and lose my security deposit and cry. You know, at least I'll have my holiday movies up. One really good renter friendly hack is using command hooks really to just put up everything. I have been loving these in my kitchen. If I need to hang up anything, a lot of the times they have heavy duty ones. So this is definitely worth the investment if you don't wanna make holes in the wall or there's just some like really weird places that you feel like you could hang things. For example, like our dog leashes. I'm going to use these and put them inside of the closet and then put them like right here on this wall. As you can see here, I now just made some space for the dog leashes and that wall was gonna stay blank anyways. So it worked out perfectly. <laughs> Okay. 
a quick little grocery haul to restock the new apartment from Trader Joe's. Ryan wanted some grapes, so I got him this grape medley, red onion, yellow onion, yellow peach, an apple, because I've been wanting apples and peanut butter, two avocados, a lemon, tricolor peppers for maybe like a salad or just to saute, sweet potato. I've been loving this peppered bacon lately for the mornings just to get some protein in because I can't find my blender and I'm not loving eggs at all. Some raspberries, which were very expensive. I just don't get why berries are so dang expensive, but I crave them. Some tomatoes on the vine. I love these. These keep the freshest from Trader Joe's. Some carrots and bananas. I'm hoping to make maybe some banana bread later down the road until, you know, these get super ripe. I can't do that, but Ryan wanted some bananas as well. He loves these for snacks. Tangerine juice, of course, the best. Some cheese to pair with the grapes. Dill, because I want to make like a tuna melt. I've never made one before and I can't eat tuna often because I'm pregnant, but you can have it every now and then. Stocked up on some more beans, coconut milk for some chia seed pudding, and then I just thought this looked really good in summary, so I picked up some lobster ravioli. We're going to Rhode Island next week and I'm so excited to have their clam chowder and all the seafood and I thought that this was like a fun way to kind of prep for Rhode Island since they're known for lobster. Um, some hummus to go with the carrots and then these go macro bars for work. I just think these are great to have to, in your work bag. This is the heartwarming retreat, the oatmeal chocolate chip, and then this is the protein pleasure that has peanut butter and chocolate chip as well. I really like those. I'm not a big advocate on just eating bars, but it's nice to have just in case. The tuna, and then I've been craving cereal, so I tried to go the healthier route. And I got these frosted shredded wheats. Did anyone love these as a kid? I really liked them. I feel like you had a love-hate relationship when it came to this kind of cereal, but if they had more powdered sugar on top, the better. Pancake bread, it just looked good. Not healthy, but you know what? That's okay. And then some of my favorite licorice twists I like to have on hand. And then these looked so fun. The cashew butter cashews. I absolutely love cashews. So I'm going to add this to my Greek yogurt in the morning or maybe my chia seed pudding. But that's it for my little restock for the new apartment. The other day we went to Target and we picked up this mirror for the corner here. I've always wanted a full length mirror. Now I got one. Here's a little bump update. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have COVID. I love this little French country mirror because that is definitely the theme of my room. I like things to be super light, airy, and neutral. And so far it's coming along. The bed looks like crazy because I've just been sick and rolling around in misery. But uh, we push on and this place is coming together. I'm going to show you a few new updates to the apartment because I've just been vlogging throughout the weeks and not really remembering to videotape when I do things. So here are the updates. The most important one is I got these beautiful hydrangeas for my coffee table, which needs to be replaced because Ember, when he was a puppy, completely destroyed it. I haven't found one I like. Then in the corner here, we have just our old chair that we were using in the other apartment. I don't know what I want to do with this space or in this corner here, but for now, this is working for us. And then we did end up keeping our old couch and putting it into the den here. I was trying to style the shelves. I think I've done a good job so far like with what we have. Eventually down the road, I'll get specifically more things for these shelves, but I do think they look nice for now. Ember's dog crate is still here. We put our old console table in here and then over here in the corner. We now, well I now, have a crafting corner which makes me so happy because you guys know I love to craft and just be creative in that way. And then in the kitchen, I just want to show you the organizational skills that I have maintained since we kind of restocked this together. It's looking really good. And then what I love on this side is how the spices came out because I've been using them throughout the weeks and truly get Lazy Susan's for your spices. It is so helpful, no hassle, nothing's falling over. I just have been absolutely loving it. For the hallway closet, I got some holiday decor up there. It's gonna be the blanket shelf and then towels. I need to do some organizing here. And then there's my candle shelf if anyone who's wondering where I put all my candles. It fits on the shelf and I'm gonna only stick to the shelf. And then this will be like for toilet trees, but it's coming along and then in my room. Here is the COVID lair. Ryan ended up getting it. So he's been laying on the floor because he got fever and I didn't. And then I also want to show you kind of like 
the closet situation. There is a lot of space, but like this is this is not gonna work. So hoping that we can end up ordering a dresser. I would love to get the Pottery Barn dresser of my dreams for right here, but it is very expensive and it keeps just not going on sale. It's gonna hold tight, but we do need a dresser even though we have an amazing walk-in closet. Um, just because this is a falling situation and eventually I can organize it so we can use other things. I'm gonna go get my tuna melt. Here's my tuna melt. I've never made a tuna melt before, but I follow a cozy kitchen on TikTok and she made one and it looked so good. You're literally standing on top of bananas right now because I can't find my tripod anywhere. I could have worked on the crispy side. It's got a little crispier, but you know, it's my first one. I'm working on it, but the inside looks great. Let's see if it tastes great. Ooh, wow, delicious. Hitting the spot. Got to crack open a spindrift now and uh, enjoy this little meal here. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. I'm very, very happy with our progress. Luckily, we've had a few weeks to just really slowly unpack, get things together. Unfortunately, because we both fell sick, things have been a little bit delayed, but I did an entire balcony makeover. There's still a few other things I have to do to film for the video, but that's going to be for next Sunday, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And just many more vlogs to come. Thank you guys so much for following along this journey. I feel baby kicking a lot. <laughs> Can't wait till we can bring him in the fall to his new place with his very own nursery, which is also another video I am planning, but I can't even think about it. I have to create a registry. I have a lot to do, but you know, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. I'm just enjoying the day today. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.